Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. This time, we pick up with a series we've looked at with mixed results, both cool and disappointing, in the past, and that is LEGO Star Wars. Now, we've looked previously at the fact that when it came to LEGO Star Wars, there seemed to be some mixed approaches being taken to that series. First, you had the Padawan Menace that was put out with a Blu-ray DVD combo pack and a little minifigure. Then you had The Empire Strikes Out. Still got the minifigure, but no Blu-ray, DVD only. In fact, Padawan Menace was the only one to have gotten the Blu-ray release. Then they moved to the Yoda Chronicles, and we have another step backwards. We have this release for the LEGO Star Wars The Yoda Chronicles, The Phantom Clone and Menace of the Sith. This is a DVD-only release. It has no minifigure, and it's only two of the three episodes released under that title without the new in it. We then saw all those previous releases put into a compilation, which is just the exact same disc again with no minifigures and no Blu-ray. And then finally, more recently, we had the release of the new Yoda Chronicles. No minifigure, no Blu-ray, DVD only. And this is just the new Yoda Chronicles, just basically what amounts to episodes 4, 5, 6, and 7 of the Yoda Chronicles overall series. Which again, as I pointed out, was so pissed about at the time, and still kind of am, this means that between this and the previous release, you have episodes 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7 of Yoda Chronicles. Episode 3 has not been released on physical home media. You gotta get it somewhere like iTunes. The Yoda Chronicles thing, though, was probably because of the change between Cartoon Network and Disney XD for regular Yoda Chronicles and new Yoda Chronicles. Later on, we saw the launch of another new LEGO Star Wars series. In fact, there's been two since then, if you count, you know, Rise of the Resistance, and then we have other ones coming a little bit later on as an ongoing series. But in the interim, we had a new series, LEGO Star Wars Droid Tales. There were five episodes, all of which aired on Disney XD, which would suggest, because this is a series on one channel, that perhaps we'd actually get the entire series in a DVD release, I'd given up hope on Blu-ray, in a DVD release as a whole, not missing any episodes as was the case with Yoda Chronicles. Turns out, those hopes were well-founded. Thank the Maker. With very, very little fanfare, March 2016 saw the release of this. This is LEGO Star Wars Droid Tales. It is the entire five-episode series, meaning it is Exit from Endor, Crisis on Coruscant, Mission to Mos Eisley, Flight of the Falcon, and Gambit on Geonosis, all on one DVD. Now, again, unfortunately, there is no Blu-ray, and I find it a little bit odd that on the cover it says DVD up at the top. That's usually up there if it has digital HD release, Blu-ray DVD combo pack. No, nope, just says DVD pointing out how incredibly bare bones and skimpy this is with how incredibly bare bones and skimpy the little top line is. I guess that's somewhat fitting. You notice here, there's a sticker about something free inside. We'll look at that in a moment, but let's look at the rest of the case first. We have our players here. We have Droid Tales and Lego with Star Wars logo on one side. Got R2-D2 down there. Flip it over. Essentially the same thing on the other side, but with C-3PO. No top or bottom, because this is a slip cover. And then on the back, information about the series, episode names, no notifications about anything in the way of special features, because there aren't any. You open this up, take off the slip cover. Cover underneath is exactly the same. Only in this case, of course, just C-3PO because that's just the regular side. There's no R2-D2 side. He gets left out of that one. Back is effectively the same. The disc, of course. Pop this sucker open. You've got droid tails there. It's actually white. It looks a little gray in this light, but it is white. Okay. And then you've got little freebies we'll look at here momentarily. You have a Droid Tail sheet that also has your Disney Movie Rewards code that you can redeem. I've already redeemed it, so don't bother pausing it. And then an advertisement for basically the Disney Movie Club, where you can do the whole, you know, send me this movie for basically free, and then every month thereafter I have to keep telling you no, or you're going to send me a movie and make me pay for it whether I want it or not. Yeah, my wife did this, and we're still sending back those stupid things. But it's all 
five episodes of the series, which is nice, so you can just watch them straight through. They weren't really promoted very heavily on Disney XD. This DVD release wasn't really promoted at all in all the hubbub leading up to the release a month later of The Force Awakens on Blu-ray, DVD, and so forth. Uh, not really anything in the way of special features. As I mentioned, there are three preview slash trailers on it. You've got one that is for Zootopia, the Disney animated film that has nothing to do with Star Wars. You've got one that's basically a preview for a big chunk of season two of Star Wars Rebels. It's actually a really well done trailer, and I hadn't seen that particular cut of it before. And then it's got a little feature, or a little advertisement, basically, about the Disney Movie Rewards process, where you can basically take the codes, put them in on the website, and redeem them for free stuff. Like these! Which my wife and I intend on putting on the wall of a, a Star Wars room when we finally get a house sometime in the near future. Now, on the packaging, though, this is where things get a little asinine. That sticker there points it out. New on DVD, free exclusive trading card set inside. Collect all three sets. Then the copyright thing. Ooh, free cards inside. What's this? Well, it's these. Now, I sliced the end of mine open so you can see these. You have, they all say Lego Star Wars Droid Tales on the top. You got Darth Vader. In this case, you got Stormtroopers. And you got Rebels. And they each give a little description of them on the back. And I'm thinking, that's nice. It's kind of nifty. It's kind of pointless. But for those who collect the cards, sure. Why not? It's kind of like that little ghost model thing that was stuck in Spark of Rebellion. It's a little bit goofy. I'm not going to use it. But okay, you know, it's added value to the package. Sure. Until you go back and think about what it said. It doesn't say, collect all three. That'd be too damn easy, right? Because one little package has three of them in it. No. Collect all three sets. Now, unless that is stated incorrectly here, that means there are actually nine cards out there. Three sets of three which you get by blindly buying a copy of Droid Tales and simply pulling out the package and hoping you're getting cards you didn't have before. That, to me, is... What was the line? What was the phrase from Dennis Miller? I think it was exquisite bullshit. Seriously? You want us to go out to collect all of these and buy Droid Tales over and over and over again, just praying every time that when we buy it, like buying a booster pack of a card game, we're going to open it up and, woohoo, I've got new cards, not like the ones I bought before. Oh, hell no. Really? You think, okay, I was about to say, you think fans are that gullible? I'm sure there are some that were, and maybe they're the hardcore card collectors, and God bless you for putting up with this shit. But that, to me, is kind of a slap in the face to the audience. Add some extra value, but use it as a way to basically say, hey, now you gotta go buy this over and over again. Look, I already buy Star Wars Home Video way too often over and over again. I'm not doing it to get a random set of three cards. I hope it's three different ones each time. That each pack is three different ones instead of it being just you have a random three out of the nine within your packet. It says all three sets, suggesting that it's these three, these three, these three, not a mixture that's random each time. But, and Disney, screw you for trying to pull this kind of crap to get people to buy multiple copies of what is already a very unheralded, bare-bones release. I love the fact that they finally put out an entire LEGO series in one release. That's fantastic. I wish they'd do it with Yoda Chronicles and include regular and new to give us the full seven episodes. And I'm going to harp on that until they finally do it. But, uncool. Very uncool, Disney, what you did there with the cards. So, it is out there. If you want to check it out, very easy to find if you look online. But if you try to find notices and, and announcements that it was coming out, you're going to be kind of SOL. Because there just really wasn't much fanfare for this whatsoever. But if you want a complete LEGO Star Wars set, if you want to go out and pick up Droid Tales. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with the home video viewers.